Upon his firing, Bennett went to his basement office and burnt all his company records. He then retired to an 800-acre estate in wilderness area he owned near Desert Springs, California. But then his past came back to haunt him. In 1951, the contracts to haul cars across state line that he had given to the crime family fell under federal investigation, and Harry was called to testify on his knowledge on charges of racketeering. This was the last time he was ever seen publicly. He later published his memoirs on his life at Ford Motors and then retreated to a private life of obscurity out of the spotlight for many years until he turned 80 when he suffered a stroke. The last six years of his life were spent at a nursing home in Los Gatos, California, and on January 4th, 1979, he died. His death went unreported for a week, and the coroner refused to release information about his death, 